Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here in the city of Baroness, and we are currently being assaulted by the nation of Mazun, which is a very cavalry-heavy nation, though their infantry is now starting to land, as you can see. We are facing them with only four infantry units, as well as a hidden unit of cavalry, which I actually would like to use in this engagement. However, one thing the AI in this game does well is defends its vulnerable ranged units with always a little spearman or swordsman unit around them. So it's more difficult than you might think. I think for right now... Desert Heavy Corsairs? Not that many of them, though. This must be Axum. And that is correct, because... They're pretty much completely destroyed. And I'm not worried about them. Why don't we just... For right now, we'll move our cavalry up to this tower and wait it out. In the meantime, I have my archers getting up here with flaming shot. Because we're facing a mostly cavalry army. And my spearmen are actually holding their own. Though they are winded. We do have backup forces, which I was going to move up here. But I'm actually going to have them hold steady. I wonder if fire at will would be useful in this instance. I don't want to hit our own men. Probably not. All right, let's go. So in this episode also, we're going to speak about the Roman Navy. And actually, not a whole lot is known about the Roman Navy of this period. Just a little bit, but I'll talk about that. Since Rome controlled the entire Mediterranean for many years they really didn't have an incentive to build a very strong navy, and most of their naval forces were utilized to ferry troops from one place to another and for policing actions. Our men are doing well, although these are infantry, not spearmen. These guys, however, are killing it. I wish their general was here instead of here. Combat even. Unit losing decisively. And the archers are in place. I'm a little nervous about them firing into here. Might be hitting some of our guys. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Actually, it looks like it's the tower that's doing this. How very interesting. No, that's Axum. Oh, this is all Axum. Okay. I don't think necessarily routing Axum will help us much against these guys. What I really want to do is take out their desert chieftain. Which may happen. And what are you guys doing? See if you can take out the Step Raiders. How about that? They're marching some spearmen up to take our cavalry. I don't actually mind that. It's keeping them away from us. Ah, this looks like a pretty strong full unit of range troops. So let's get the jump on him. Alright, we got him. Hopefully that will impact their morale. Most of the cavalry has already been routed. So now it's just going to go infantry on infantry. Alright, archers do not fire at will. We're going to wait till these... Infantry get closer, we might take it to them. Let's, let's attack the tribesmen with our Marines and use the whip. Alright. Cavalry. Do what you're good at. We have a real shot here, I think. So the only major sea battle early in this period 
was a slapdash affair of commandeered ships and hastily constructed Liburnian galleys. It was a fight between Constantine and Licinius, his co-emperor in the year 324, which we spoke about a bit in my episode on Constantine. Constantine's son Crispus led Constantine's forces, and he had about 80 ships. Licinius, on the other hand, had about 200 ships. But Crispus scored a total victory because the battle was called the Battle of the Hellespont, and it took place on the Hellespont, which is a very narrow stretch of water that goes by Constantinople and connects the Black Sea to the Mediterranean. And so Crispus used the narrowness of the Hellespont to allow him to defeat the much larger force under Licinius. Might as well take out their general. Why not? They're taking down our tower, although the tower by itself is kind of messing them up, which is awesome. Still, though, they're probably going to take it. Well? Yeah, probably. All right. Let's take out these bowmen. Getting some good use out of my cavalry. Let's rush these slingers. And... Alright, archers. Just don't hit our own guys, please. Do the best you can. That, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to see our cavalry charge, but... We should have no trouble with both of these units. I think we're going to win this. Our cavalry still at full strength. Alright. Done. Let's just... Anybody that's really big here? 21. 31. 43. We can take them out. We're probably not going to be able to catch up with anybody else. Let's go ludicrous speed. Axum I don't care about. Just want to get rid of Mazin. Okay. Oh, 87 of them. Yes, let's take them down, please. This will be fun to watch. It'll probably be super pixelated because it's moving so fast. Excuse me, friends. What are you up to? Can we help? <laughs> How many are in this group? Four. Not too worried about that. All right. Excellent. And I got heroic defense achievement. You might not be able to see it. I'm not sure. But I'm proud of it nonetheless. We deployed 564, lost 266 while killing... 1,070? 1,075 or so of the enemy. Mazun still lives, as does Axum. Just can't get rid of these guys. And who are you now? Aropatine, Atropatine, they want Tosp. You can have Tosp, I don't really care. Let's rush them. Man, I feel really bad for the garrison of Tosp. It's not a good day to be them. But they just wanted to raid it. Meanwhile, the Armenians are just sitting outside. Illyrium and us are good buddies. Good buddies with Illyrium. And the West is actually resurging. Surging? Resurging? They're doing okay. And Nisibis is surrounded. It was already, as far as I know. Oh, yay. Atropatine got 351 gold. Dalmatia. Armenia. Both have rebellions. Imminent. Okay, 
Was Sirmium part of Dalmatia? No, that's Pannonia. They're also in bad shape, though. Let's send you back here. Dacia is actually okay. They're at negative 62, but they are up 6. Might be because of the army that's there, though. Oh, we can research another technology. Okay, let's get our Eastern Armored Legio. Eight turns. That's fine. That's Dardania. They're fine. So Dalmatia, the only place in Dalmatia that we have is Salona. Although it is the walled city. I'm debating whether I should just raise a new army there. Just with some spearmen. Or if I should spend the money on our economy. Or perhaps buying off the Huns. How do they feel about us? It's been a while since I've checked. They don't like us. But it's slowly improving still. We could trade with Illyria. That would be awesome. Welcome, worthy guest. I trust you bring words that will enhance the honor of your people. In okay. Great. So we are now trading with Illyria. I like that a lot. Anyone else we could trade with? The Garmontians and the Gaetulians, but the Gaetulians hate us and their attitude toward us is deteriorating, so probably not, whereas these guys are neutral and improving. I greet you as befits your reputation. Moderate. We'll give it a chance. Nope. Maybe next time. I'm not going to give them any money. Anyone else that can trade with us that doesn't hate us? The Marians hate us, pretty much. Nope. Really? Babaskia? You hate us? Why? Cultural aversion. Oh, well, whatever. Alright, so the question is... You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this guy down here to take care of the problem in Salona. I shouldn't have done that because he'll have to walk all the way around again. I forgot about the pathing there. But he's on his way. So when they rebel, he'll be able to crush them. Meanwhile, the Savers of Rome will hang out here. Let's see if we can't fix the problem here in Macedonia. Well, actually, it seems to be okay, so we're going to let it go. Sanitation's good. Bithynia, public order is raising. Libya's unhappy. Macedonia, it's unhappy but raising. Osroene, unhappy but raising. Africa and Armenia are both... Very unhappy, but that's to be expected. And I only have one little piece of each of them. Egypt is becoming a bit more unhappy. So basically, all the areas that I've conquered are unhappy. Which makes sense. The Western Isles. Oh yeah, they're supposed to rebel soon, right? All right, let's just make sure that Rufinus hasn't received any more bad traits. Nope, still just a procrastinator. I wonder if I break the blockade and then reinstitute it, if that will harm me in any way. He's been blockading this place for like a year. Contrary, Palatina. It is an honor to serve Rome. They're still pretty strong, even with our... What is this now? Well, six, seven units of infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be interesting. Let's just say that. Carthage is safe, which means my territory of Hadramentum is okay. I might as well repair it. And this is so cheap, I might as well build a fountain. And some industry. Make some money. Why not? Doesn't hurt squalor or anything. Now, they said Libya was unhappy. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because all these towns are level 1 still. Colonia, or Aguila, or Freytonium. Which one should get some love? I'm thinking Aguila, because it's in the middle of nowhere. Alright. 
Oh, you know what? We should have spent some money repairing Edessa. But I guess that's okay. The wall strength's at 92%. And they're moving some armies out from Mizbis. We can't afford to harass one of their armies. That might be a good idea. Can anyone... So the heroes among men are a heavily cavalry-based army. But I bet you we could take them out if we corner camped. And that might be useful to us. Let's see. Let's see if we can hinder them. Come on. You can do it. Critical failure. Only a scratch. And he was wounded. And he's gone. Is he dead? What's going on? Yeah. Either that or maybe he'll live here in a couple turns. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so he's still alive. He's just unable to be used. Well, that stinks. I think it's... Oh, it was Adulis they attacked. Or no, 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 they attacked. That's why Egypt is unhappy. I see. Let's repair. Oh, I keep doing that. I need to be careful. I can't dismantle things instead of repairing them. That's why Egypt is kind of going down on the happiness. All right, well, right now we currently have the... Oh, we do have the public order bonus. Shoot. Well, that's going to have to stay for the moment. Alright, so we failed. So if we attack these guys, they may... Can these guys help these guys? Their red circles kind of overlap each other. Let's see. A little bit of a gamble here. I'm a bit nervous. Nope, just these guys. Let's do it. Arcadius is kind of pissed off. So after the battle between Constantine and Licinius, we don't hear much about the navy again until the Vandals take over Africa province in the year 429, as you'll recall, due to some machinations of Aetius with Gaia Placidia. Boniface, the general there, invited them in, because he was rebelling, but then later found out that he didn't have to rebel because he was still cool, and the Vandals were like, we're staying. So they took over Africa. And at this time, huge fleets were put together by both the West and the East, but unfortunately they were unable to retake Africa from the Vandals. Okay, so since we are on the attack here, they may just decide to stay put. What's this? What's all this? What's all this white stuff? It's just rocks? Detritus? Yeah, I guess rocks and stuff. Okay. I think this corner is better. It's a bit higher elevated. I have to find some way to goad them into attacking us. Maybe by charging our mercenaries, our brigands, into them. Let's go two on the edge. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I guess we'll start this right here. And move it, I guess. Or we could put them further away. Archers. And Arcadius in the back. Cavalry, we'll just put you there. Okay. Half speed. And it does appear that they are just happily waiting for us. Hmm. Well, that does make sense. I mean, tactically, if I were them, I would do the same thing, certainly. But let's just... Let's just see, shall we? 
And I'm sad that I have to do this again. But, you know. Okay, cool. Meanwhile, you guys... Excellent. Arcadius. Good. And our three cataphracts. And our promoti. Alright, mounted brigands. You are going to be bastards. So if all the attempts to take over Africa back from the Vandals, and remember, Africa was the city of Carthage as well, which is a very fertile and wealthy Roman city. The largest was led in 468 by the east by a gentleman by the name of Basiliscus, who was the husband of... No, I'm sorry. He was the brother of the empress. So the brother of the wife of the emperor. At this point, the emperor's name was Leo, Leo I, and his wife was... Ilia, because of course they all have to be, right? Verena. And it consisted of 1,113 ships and 100,000 men, which nearly bankrupted the entire Eastern Empire and of course was an abysmal failure. And that's really all we have about the Byzantine Navy until Justinian and Belisarius in the 6th century, but we'll leave that one for a later series. Really, you guys? Come on, you want to charge your cavalry. Look how weak we are. We're so weak. Let's loosen up, just avoid getting hit by arrows. Let's look at our brave step brigands here. Neat. What are you guys doing? Actually, they're not ranged cavalry, as I thought they were. They're spear cavalry. While this is entertaining, it certainly is making me nervous. Could we just retreat from the battle, perhaps? But then, you know what? All the armies would gang up together against us, probably. Although we would have the army up in the up in Nisibis potentially help. Alright. Do you guys want to be like that? Nothing beats a suicidal charge. This is like the slowest suicidal charge I've ever seen. They are hurrying. Yeah, it was just a feint. Hmm. Amusing, but... Nothing's really happening here. Nope, don't get engaged. Which is actually some good life advice in general. Now they're being chased, maybe we can have them chase us all the way to our army. Yeah? Fun times? Hey, it might be happening. But, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to see that in the next episode because we are out of time. So once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. This is Total War Attila, the Eastern Roman Empire and history. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.